Well, you're no spring chicken. <laughs> That's the first thing my neighbor said to me when I told her I was pregnant. Can you believe that? Maybe she just didn't believe me. But I don't hold it against her. She's been really cranky lately. A bellowing camel stuck his head right in her bedroom window. Guess I'd be cranky. But you know, I think maybe she just didn't understand the miracle that this was to me. Zechariah and I, we tried our whole lives to have a child of our own. About the time my hair started to turn gray and Zechariah's turned loose, well, we just gave up hope. But God, nothing is impossible with God. He delights in bringing life to barren places, impossibly barren places. And there's more. The angel that brought us this unbelievable news had more to say. He said that this child, our son, would be used by God to prepare our people for the coming of the Messiah. It, it was all too much of a gift to be real, but it was real. And then I thought, how will we even begin to train a child for a job like that? But God had those details covered as well. And it gets better. When I was about six months along, my cousin Mary came for a visit. No sooner had she opened her mouth to say hello when my unborn child leaped and jumped inside of me. Well, right then, God opened my eyes to see that this young girl standing in our home was also with child. And his name would be called Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Well, nine months later, we got the news from Bethlehem, and I looked over at Zechariah holding John, our own miracle baby, and I had one of those God moments. You know, the moment when you realize God's plans were totally different than your plans. You see, he had brought us life in barren places. He hadn't ignored us. He hadn't forgotten us. And best of all, he will never, ever leave us alone.